Now we want to create and make a prediction from a line graph. This is where mathematics becomes powerful to be able to make predictions. Let's take, for example, first class postage. Stamps in 1960 cost four cents. And as we go down the years, you'll notice that it has increased. The question is, what can we do with this information? What we can do with this information is we, we can create a line graph and then we can try to predict the cost in 2005. This should be interesting to compare with the actual price in 2005. So, to begin with, we want to plot the points 1964. Notice the spaces here, each five years, is represented by the large spaces. And the cost in cents, four is each space. So 1964 we have, I'm sorry, 1960 we have four, and 65 we have five. 1970 we have 6, 1975 we have 10, 1980 we have 15, 1985 we have 22, 1990 we have 25, 1995 we have 32, and in 2000 we have 37. So we can create a line graph by connecting each of these with a line segment. I'm using a different color to dramatize where the points are that we plot it. And the real power comes in can we predict the cost in 2005? Well, if we look, 2005 would be here, so if we extend this graph and assuming this line is relatively straight, one would predict that the number is somewhere around here, so our prediction would be about 42 cents. About 42 cents as a predictor for the cost of postage from the line graph that we've already used.